right, we're here at Guam International Airport. We are traveling to Tokyo, Japan. This time it isn't Godfrey that's coming with me, it is actually Bert, and Bert's filming me right now. He's saying hi. I left my Sony camera at home, and I'm bringing the phase one only. And here's a Pelican case I'm using for travel. All right, we're gonna head to uh, Japan now. We have landed at Nerede Airport, the famous Welcome to Japan signs on the left hand side. We actually took the last train to Yokohama around 10.15pm. This is the JR Rapid Express and as you can see it takes about 110 minutes to Yokohama. Here we are at our hotel, the Yokohama Bay Hotel Tokyo. And we really got a nice room uh, with a really awesome view. This room is actually American standard size versus most of the rooms in Japan are pretty small. But this room is a good size. And as you can see here, the view at night, and this is a little bit over midnight when we made it to the hotel. Really nice view. We also have a really great view of the um, Ferris wheel. That's actually uh, turned off right now because it's pretty late good sized bathroom and it is the next morning uh, April 5th 2023 you can see some cherry blossoms uh, there but we we're actually a couple days late for the uh, full bloom no photo shoots today we're just gonna go around to the camera stores and I'll bring the phase one with the 55 because it's a wider lens today. This is on our way to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery here in Tokyo. We were trying to check out the cherry blossoms in this photo you'll see here and this is the most cherry blossoms that we have seen again we were a couple of days late here we are at the starbucks reserve roastery pretty big building about four stories tall this is not my first time here but is this is actually bert's first time here and this is where you can actually purchase the freshly roasted coffee beans from starbucks they sell a lot of nice uh, coffee cups. I was able to purchase two uh, different designs and bring them home. Again, this is still the first floor. On the left hand side, you have like a bakery where they sell the freshly baked goods. And the section where I'll be walking to, this is where you can actually see them make uh, the sandwiches and other um, uh, food items. I thought this was um, a pretty good idea so you can see them make it fresh. Here I am enjoying the, I believe the creme brulee coffee, pretty good. And just um, enjoying this uh, hot beverage while the temperature outside is around 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, it was a good feeling. Our taxi driver actually informed us that we are looking at Fujifilm headquarters in Tokyo. Two buildings actually. I thought that was pretty cool. 
here we are at the all you can eat a5 wagyu it is actually next to a train station So here we are walking towards Kitamura Camera in Senjuku. I believe this just opened up about a couple years ago. And this is my first time actually going inside. There's a lot of floors, I think about six floors. This is the first floor, mostly film. As you can see here, I think this place actually is more focused on film, film cameras. And Bert was looking at some camera straps, a little bit pricey for this brand. Here, yeah. so I used to this camera, junk camera. Junk camera? Like uh, I used to camera, new, new camera. Oh, okay, I see. Like a vintage camera. Advertisement shows third floor. Kitamura camera actually sells watches. I know there's a lot of photographers that are also into collecting watches. All right, so we are going to the very first floor, actually basement, B1, and we found out it was just an Apple product repair place where you can just get your Apple products. Uh, you can just drop one off, get it repaired and pick it up later. I thought this was pretty interesting to have it at a camera store. So we are going to the second floor, which sells brand new cameras. And I was really looking forward to checking out the Phase 1 IQ4 150, as well as the XF body and seeing how it compares to my Phase 1 DF Plus and the IQ150. And this is second floor, again, all new items being sold. As you can see, Fujifilm cameras. On the right side is actually the Fujifilm GFX medium format. They are all organized by system brands. And on the, as you can see, this is Canon. And the left hand side actually had the um, well, there's Lumix and then above it is the uh, Phase 1 camera and the Hasselblad cameras. So here's the Canon section, Canon mirrorless. And this section is actually the Panasonic Lumix. Again, all brand new. Behind here, I believe, is the Sony section. Very well organized, very neat. Product placement is very nice with the prices right in front of it. And again, this is to the right side of the Fujifilm. This is the GFX. Here is my camera on the right side comparing it to the Phase 1 IQ4 150. 
and I'm telling Bert that the XF is the newer body and the DF plus is the older body. And I was um, surprised to see that the IQ4 uh, has XQD cards. I was asking the sales clerk if uh, what memory card is this, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it's um, XQD. Pretty interesting. Here I am just messing around with the top screen. I know the top screen is touchscreen, so I'm just going through the different modes, HDR, time lapse, focus stacking, controlling the Profoto strobes. And what was very interesting is the seismograph. And this is how I finally figured out how to do auto ISO. And I remember one of the developers saying the blue color means auto. And here's the, the uh, seismograph. Here I am just playing with the playback menu, swiping down from top to bottom, bottom to top, even from right to left, different options there, and then from left to right. Really interesting how the uh, gestures work. And if you follow Phase One Japan on Instagram, and you show them that you do follow them, you actually get stickers, which I thought was pretty cool. Just really want to give a shout out to Phase One Japan through Instagram direct messaging. They have been very helpful, and they answered all my questions prior to coming to Tokyo. Third floor is the junk cameras. These are cameras that cannot be repaired and you can purchase them just for parts. Pretty interesting section. A lot of cameras here that you can purchase just to use it for parts and lenses as well. Pretty big section of the store. Fourth floor is all used camera gear, cameras and lenses. As you can see, this section is a lot of Leica products, a lot of used Leica lenses, really good selection. I like how Kitamura camera, everything seems very neat and in place. Also a lot of used film cameras as well, even a medium format film.
fifth floor left side is buying repair and maintenance and right here it is called id photo and i guess in the powder room this is where you get ready before you take your professional photo maybe passport photo that's uh, what i'm guessing and sixth floor is both an event space and like a vintage camera This is the sixth floor of Kitamura camera. This is called Vintage Salon. And according to the website, they have a lot of rare collectible cameras here that are actually worthy for like auction. And the website also states that they have concierges there and that you can talk to and share Leica stories. So I haven't seen this in person, but this is a Leica M9P Hermes edition, uh, complete with lens. And coming around on the other side of the glass booth, there is a set like a M3 and Sumalux, which is worth around 170,000 US dollars. And here we have other like M3s that are also uh, worth a lot of money. So a lot of a lot of rare cameras here that I haven't seen before. Here we are at Map Camera, one of my favorite camera stores. And as you can see, it has a lot of floors as well. And each floor has different brands. This is not my first time here. This is maybe my third or fourth time here. I covered this in my other uh, YouTube videos. But here we are at B1, Basement 1. And this has all the uh, medium format cameras such as the Fujifilm GFX. Here we are on the Nikon, Fujifilm and Pentax floor. And Bert is looking at different Fujifilm lenses and cameras.
All right, we're here at the Canon, Olympus, Panasonic, and Sigma floor. We did a quick stop to Yodobashi in Shinjuku. Bert hasn't been to Yodobashi before. So we just wanted to show him really quick uh, another camera store for today. Looking for a place to eat and Bert loves his curry, we went to the famous Koku Uchibanyan curry house. I haven't eaten here in a long time, maybe 5 or 6 years, but I remember it being very good. Can I bring smell it? I like how in Japan you can order from the iPad and the food actually comes pretty quick. I haven't waited more than 10 or 15 minutes for food in Japan. Bert got the curry and hamburger. I got the famous chicken cutlet and curry. And since Tomo ate a lot from the A5 Wagyu, he got fries and the salad. All right, subscribe to see the next video. Day two in Japan, we will be shooting Alessandra with the phase one IQ 150.